B12. So where can you get the B12 from? I normally get my B12 from Are you someone thinking about going vegetarian but worried about not getting enough nutrients? Or maybe you are someone already a vegetarian but want to know more about more balanced diet and also more nutritious vegetarian diet. If that is you, make sure that you stick around because in today's video, we are going to share with you four common myths. We are going to debunk these four common myths and also share with you the essential tips in how to eat a more balanced and nutritious vegetarian diet. Make sure that you stick around. But before we dive into it, show real, hit it. Hello everyone, welcome to my video today. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you four common myths about vegetarian and we are going to debunk all these four common myths and also share with you the essential tips in how to eat a more nutritious and also balanced vegetarian diet. So before we dive into it, you might be wondering, what gives me the right to share this with you? Well, my name is Anne Heng, I'm a hospital pharmacist. I'm also a vegetarian for more than uh, 10 years now and I have done some research in how to eat a more balanced and nutritious vegetarian diet. So in this video, I can't wait to share all my tips and also debunk some common myths with you today. And towards the end, I'm going to share my super food recipe with you. Make sure that you stay tuned to the end. Let's dive into the first myth. So first myth is vegetarian don't get enough protein. What? Have you ever heard of that? Not getting enough protein is actually one of the common concerns that many people would think about because going vegetarian, you straight away think that just cut off all the meat and all the protein. But guess what? In vegetarian, there are plenty of other plant-based protein that you can have instead of the meat protein. There are plenty of other protein-rich food that you can have as a vegetarian. So now I'm going to share eight high protein-rich food that you can have as a vegetarian. So make sure that you write it down and also you can include it in your diet so you can have a high protein diet as a vegetarian. Make sure that you stay tuned till the end. So the number one is eggs. So eggs is a high in protein and you can have it as a vegetarian. But don't get confused. As a vegetarian, it's different from vegan. Vegan, you can't have eggs. But vegetarian, you can still have eggs. Eggs are the complete protein source. What it means is it contains all the nine essential amino acids and also they are very versatile so you can prepare them in multiple ways including boil, scramble, poach or you can fry them make it as omelette so they are so versatile and very very easy to include in your diet the next one is tofu tofu made from soybeans Tofu is a very versatile protein source that can be used in a variety of dishes from stir fries to smoothies. And the third one is lentils. Lentils not only high in protein but also high in minerals and fibers. Lentils can be used in soup, stew or veggies burger or salads. The fourth one is chickpeas. Chickpeas are staple in many vegetarian diets. Chickpeas can be roasted to be a crunchy snack or mash to become hummus or it can be used in salad or in curries. So the fifth one is quinoa. Quinoa is also a complete protein. What it means is it contains all the nine essential amino acids as well. Quinoa can be used in salad, stir fry and also serve as a side dish. So number six is tempeh. Tempeh is a soybean that is fermented. So it's a fermented soybean with a a nutty flavor. Number seven, all other beans, including black beans, kidney beans. Beans are excellent source of protein. They can use it in any dishes. So number eight is great yogurt. Great yogurt has a higher protein than any other yogurt. So great yogurt, you can include it in your breakfast as a breakfast bowl, or you can mix it in smoothie, as well as you can just have it on its own. So it's so easy and it's high in protein in the yogurt as well. Now, let's dive into the second myth. The second myth is 
don't get enough iron. Many people think that vegetarian don't get enough iron. While it's true that meat is a significant source of iron, but there are plenty of plant-based sources that can fulfill your iron needs. Iron is an essential mineral that actually transport the oxygen throughout the body and preventing fatigue. Let's explore some of these iron-rich food. Iron-rich foods including spinach, dark chocolate, molasses, pumpkin seeds, and also the foods that I mentioned earlier like chickpeas, lentils, tofu, and soybeans. So these are the foods that are not only high in iron, but some of those they are high in protein as well. So myth number three is dun 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 vegetarian don't get enough vitamin b12 i bet most of you heard about it because b12 mainly found in animal products b12 is actually very crucial for our nerve function as well as red blood cell formation it affects our cognitive function as well so you might be wondering as a vegetarian how to get b12 because most of the b12 actually get it from animal products if you don't have animal products what can you have b12 so where can you get the b12 from so b12 you can get from eggs milk cheese and yogurt but other than that i normally get my b12 from guess what vegemite vegemite is one of my favorite spread i can use it on my toes Recently, I found out that this version of Vegemite, which is the 40% uh, less salt uh, Vegemite, it actually contains like B6 as well as B12. So I normally use this uh, on my toes and I can have it every day. And I, um, I know that not many people love Vegemite, but I love it. That's the thing. This is one of the things that you either love it or you hate it. So um, luckily, I'm not that picky and I love Vegemite so much. And it contains a lot of other B vitamins as well, which is very good for vegetarian. Myth number four is vegetarian don't get enough omega-3 fatty acid. So omega-3 fatty acid is very important for our brain health, heart health, and overall well-being. Normally, fatty fish like salmon are known for their high content of omega-3 fatty acid. But vegetarians can still obtain their omega-3 fatty acid through the plant-based source. Let's dive into the sources of omega-3 fatty acid. The first food that high in omega-3 fatty acid is chia seeds. So what I normally do with chia seeds is to include in my smoothie, but some people uh, use it in their salad, or so they make it as a pudding or mix it with cereal. So you can use it in multiple ways. Chia seeds is high in omega-3 fatty acids. The second food that high in omega-3 fatty acid is walnuts. Walnuts, you can just eat it by itself. Sometimes I include walnuts in my sandwich as well. I like to have my walnut with uh, cheese and also rockets in my sandwich. Other foods that contain omega-3 fatty acid including hemp seeds, soybeans and also other soy products and also uh, some of the leafy greens. Even though that their omega-3 fatty acid is not as high as the uh, chia seeds and other seeds but leafy greens like kale and spinach also contain omega-3 fatty acid so if you include those in your diet and you have it uh, routinely every day you would uh, consume the omega-3 fatty acid transitioning to a vegetarian diet or make sure that your vegetarian diet lifestyle is balanced and nutritious doesn't have to be daunting as long as you are mindful of what you include in your diet every day and make it as a habit and eventually you will absorb all the nutrients that you need and you will eventually have a balanced and healthy diet as a vegetarian for over 10 years now i haven't had any problem with my b12 or iron level most people would think that my iron level be low and also my b12 not getting enough b12 but guess what i have done my blood test my b12 and iron they are within a normal range. As long as you include the right foods into your diet, you don't have to worry about the key nutrients and minerals that you'll miss out. So like the one that we mentioned earlier, the protein, B12, iron, 
and omega-3 fatty acids all this you can uh, obtain from plant-based sources as well so if you're someone that who think about going vegetarian make sure that you include the food that we mentioned earlier into your diet then you'll be getting a balanced and nutritious diet finally i'm going to share with you my super food smoothie with you so in my smoothie i normally have frozen banana spinach kale avocado about half of the avocado greek yogurt a little bit of ginger sometimes i put in goji berry as well and on top of that after i blend it i will include chia seeds as well as one of the nuts like walnuts or almond so this is my super food bowl and it's delicious and full of nutrients so i hope you like my sharing today if you like my sharing please give me a like and also subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to share it with your friends and family because they might get the benefit out of this video as well and also comment down below where you are tuning in from because it's always good to know where you are tuning in from thank you very much for watching until next time Stay in the moment, stay healthy and stay happy.